Since the beginning of time, art and the creative energy behind it has captured our imagination, energized us, comforted us, and inspired us. Creative expression has an undeniable power, providing insight into what it means to be human. Is there something about creativity, how we engage with it and share it with others, that can actually improve our health? Can art be medicine? Art has been around since since the origins of, uh, of our species, and uh, you know, in a sense, for it to have lasted as long as it has says something right away about how important and central it is to the human existence. There's never been a culture without art. Never been a culture without poetry. Never been a culture without music. They must be delivering something to us that we really need for our psyches. You think back to those days and all the challenges that existed just to survive and have food, but they still took time for art, so obviously it had some value for them. And that value clearly had something to do with health. We've forgotten the original stuff that worked quite well before we had all the sort of medications and other sort of technologies for treatment. Here I am, a strong, physically demanding warrior. Why do I have to do art? I, I plan battles, I plan wars. I take life if necessary, if, if absolute necessary. I'm not doing art. The first second that I started writing a poem, the first second that I started typing, I, I lived, I breathed a little bit deeper than I had that whole time, and it felt better than trying to communicate, you know, with the with the doctors about how I was feeling, or trying to communicate with therapists about how I was feeling. Because in truth, in those situations, people are trying to help you, but you don't necessarily know how you're feeling. Creative engagement brings us into the moment. It puts us in touch with who we are and connects us with others. It helps us get unstuck and helps us move forward. In very traumatic illnesses, in very traumatic situations like war, everyone is changed. I lost three Marines due to IEDs. Uh, I lost several of my friends uh, on one deployment. When I was 16 years old, I had a heart transplant. Uh, I was in the hospital for three months. And I found it odd that each time I did something with uh, art therapy, I felt better because there was something in me that was dying to get out. And through art, I was able to express it. I remember writing about this. I remember writing to my heart. I remember asking it to please work with me. I remember um, really almost in letter form, just saying, I, I know that this environment isn't natural for you. I know that y you are in a foreign place, but so am I. And together we can, we can find a home. The first thing is to think about something that you like about being at the hospital. Is there anything you like about being at the hospital? Is there anything good about being here? It's essential to add other components than the traditional medical modalities. Anything from the use of artwork, the use of light, the use of drama, the use of storytelling, and the engagement of the patients and the patient's families in an art experience to help them have the optimal care that they deserve. We are learning that storytelling and arts and emotional health is just as fundamental to well-being as your physical health. And just thinking about it, talking about it, writing it down, expressing it obliquely, expressing it directly, that can help. And one of the ways of doing it is to sort of say to yourself, I am feeling lousy today. I am feeling so goddamn blue and disgusted. You know, I could just scream. Take out a pad and make a scream, whatever that looks like. You know, nobody knows what a scream looks like. Make your own scream. Do you have a memory of uh, the fall leaves? Right. What you used to do and play with them? Yes, indeed. And what would that be? Pick them. Pick them? <laughs> I remember as a little girl, we'd have a bunch of friends and we just gather up all the leaves and make it into a big pile and jump into it. And you remember doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Good memories. I would have never had talked about what this meant, but I was able to express it through something that everybody could see what it was and see what it meant, 
but it wasn't me. I was shielded in some ways. I was protected. I was able to express it in a way that was safe for me. Trauma is actually encoded as uh, sight, sound, smell. A part of the brain that's involved in speech called Broca's area just really does not work as well when people with PTSD are trying to talk about their experiences. When you're able to process what you've been through using the right hemisphere and then apply words, then you're then reintegrating the brain. Arts can reduce stress and the emotional overlays that are associated with it and stress and emotional aspects clearly are related to a variety of hormonal changes that can then lead to disease. I really believe that in the next few years we will have some detailed answers as to what works and those individuals that come in are studied intensely and in doing so we are able to catch them in that free fall but at the same time hopefully inform the system in, in months or years to come. If all we did was sit back and wait to begin until something's proven, nothing will ever happen. I predict more and more we will learn the benefits of storytelling, of writing, the use of uh, various art modalities, and we'll use that in our environment to create wellness and health and prove that it works. My dream for this work would be for it to be accessible in all venues, in the clinics, in the community, in the schools, it's really such a valuable part of how to teach children and families how to deal with challenges in their life that I can't imagine a single setting that it wouldn't be appropriate to put it into. Can you imagine if the prescription is not only for what the next pill is or the prescription for how not to have too much salt in your diet, but the prescription could also be where's your happiness, where's your pleasure, where's your artwork, your music, come in and show me next time. You don't need to be an artist to do this kind of art that we're talking about for healing. Anybody doing anything that feels good to do that is getting something in you out. I think the beauty here is this is all very accessible to virtually everybody. Even though people might think that art is not the same as medicine, it, it was my medicine and I think that without it I just would have still been sick. Through simple things able to create something that, that makes it okay to feel the way I feel and help take those, that burden away. Scientific research has already shown that harnessing the power of art can promote health and healing. It is now critical to expand these efforts. Exactly how creative expression promotes healing may forever remain somewhat mysterious. But the ability to draw on the power of art to transform and expand our lives reduce suffering, and create new possibilities is beginning to be accepted as real medicine, as real as an antibiotic or a surgical procedure. Medicine has made great strides in the past hundred years. It's now time to go one step further by incorporating artistic expression into the ways we provide health and healing. All will stand to benefit.